Hey, Rick. Hi, Brent. How are you? Doing well, thanks. How are you? I'm great, but either the Ohio History Connection is taking in laundry now, or this pair of jeans has something to do with the music display behind us. Yeah, it sure does. So these jeans are from our popular culture collection, and country musician and Northland High School graduate, Dwight Yoakam actually wore these on the cover of his 1987 album, Hillbilly Deluxe. Aha. Uh -huh. This isn't just a normal pair of jeans. What are these? The metal uh, plates you're talking about there are known as conchos, and um, they come from Mexico originally, but uh, they're a staple of Western wear, which is a fashion style that was popularized in the 40s, 50s, 60s uh, by country Western musicians like Hank Williams, Lefty Frizzell, Buck Owens, a lot of people that Dwight Yoakam actually listened to while he was growing up. And Yoakam's not from Columbus originally, right? Correct. He's actually from Eastern Kentucky. His family story is really part of a larger historical trend of people moving from App Appalachia up north to industrial cities like Columbus. He even references that in one of his songs, has a line about, about that migration, right? Certainly, yeah. Reading, writing, and uh, Route 23 kind of talks about that up, uh, northern migration of people uh, like the Yoakums who uh, were a coal mining family. Well, there's another item here. I don't think it's Mr. Yoakum's, but it is a musical item, and it looks like a conductor's baton. Yeah, this uh, conductor's baton belonged to Carl Hunnick, uh, who for nearly 40 years was the conductor of the Republican Glee Club of Columbus, Ohio. Was that a, a club of national significance? Uh, eventually, the, the club um, started off right here in Columbus, originally to support the presidential campaign of Ulysses S. Grant. So it started in 1872. It wouldn't be incorporated as a national organization until uh, the early 90s. And Honig, uh, what else did he do? Was he from Columbus or what, what were his other activities? Uh, Honig was also the choir director at the Trinity Church on East Broad Street and was also the choir director of uh, the Ohio State University Men's Glee Club, which is one of the oldest student organizations uh, at the school today. So music plays a part in Central Ohio community and here are two items that that reflect that. Certainly. Thanks for sharing them with us. Thanks for taking a look. <laughs>